Bismillahirrahmanirrahim my name is Kashif Raza and you are watching technical secrets I hope that all friends are fine I am here with new video and this video is regarding about uh, bearing properties and materials so let's start bearing properties and materials The bearing industry uses different materials for the production of the various bearings components. The materials are processed to achieve desirable properties to maximize bearing performance and life. The materials described here are the most commonly used. Chrome steel SAE 5200 The most common material used to produce the load carrying components in precision ball bearings, roller bearings and tapered roller bearing is chrome steel 52100. These components are the inner and outer rings, ball and rollers. The chemical composition of this steel has high carbon and about 1.5 chromium content. Using controlled processing and heat treatment method the finished bearing components have high strength to resist cracking and a hard surface to resist subsurface rolling content fatigue the typical surface hardness for bearing components made from this material range from 60 to 64 on the rockwell hardness c scale rc extra clean 52100 chrome steel The raw steel used to produce high precision miniature bearing is processed with additional melting steps. The result is type of steel with very uniform fine grain material structure. The bearing contact surface can be super finished, very smooth, so the bearing is very quiet. The most common heat treating method for chrome steel is through harden the steel. in a controlled atmosphere furnace bearings manufactured from chrome steel can operate at continuous temperature up to 120 celsius where higher temperatures are encountered it is possible to heat stabilize the bearing components by varying the heat treating process bearing can be produced so they are of operating at temperature of 220 celsius and higher For these application the components must be subjected to a tempering treatment at a higher temperature corresponding to the service temperature. This elevated tempering treatment has a detrimental effect on the hardness of the material and the load carrying capacity of the bearing is reduced. SAE 52100 is an excellent general purpose bearing steel due to its excellent hardness and wear resistance it exhibits good fatigue life in a rolling element bearings however the corrosion resistance of chrome steel is poor because of the low chromium content the surface of bearing must be protected with a coating of rust and heavy tore or oil to stop oxidation The following table is showing the standard chemical composition of chromium steel will vary depending on the country where it is produced. Here you can see the table and uh, carbon percentage in each country. USA 0.95 to 1.1, silicon 0.15 to 0.35, manganese 0.5 max, phosphorus 0.01 to max. Chromium 1.3 to 1.6, palladium 0.8 max, nickel 0.25 max, sulfur 0.025 max. In Germany, carbon 0.95 to 1.1, silicon 0.15 to 0.35, phosphorus 0.15 to 0.35. 
manganese 0.25245 phosphorus 0.03 max chromium 1.35215 aluminium 0.1 max nickel nail sulfur 0.02 max in japan 0.95 to 1.1 percent carbon silicon 0.15 to 0.35 manganese 0.5 max phosphorus 0.025 max chromium 1.3 to 1.6 aluminium 0.08 max nickel 0.25 max sulfur 0.025 max and in china 0.95 to 1.05 carbon silicon 0.15 to 0.35 manganese 0.25 to 0.45 phosphorus 0.027 max chromium 1.4 to 1.65 molybdenum 0.1 max nickel 0.23 max sulfur 0.02 max Let's dive into the more depth and discuss more materials which are using in infection process. Thermally stabilized steel. Steel is not thermally stabilized. The retained austenite will over an extended period of time possibly yields transform into martensite. This transformation is accompanied by an increase in the volume. that is called metallurgical growth please not to be confused with thermal growth metallurgical growth will cause a change in the dimension and form of any steel part such as bearing even at room temperature following table shows chemical composition of stainless steel alloys which discussed earlier here you can see designation countries and usa In USA, carbon percentage is 0.95 to 1.1. Silicon percentage is 0.15 to 0.35. Manganese 0.5 max. Phosphorus 0.012 max. Chromium 1.3 to 1.6 max. Molybdenum 0.08 max. Nickel 0.25 max. Sulfur 0.025 max. In Germany, 0.95 to 1.1 carbon and silicon 0.15 to 0.35 manganese 0.25 to 0.45 phosphorus 0.03 max chromium 0.1 to 1 to 1.35 to 1.65 aluminium 0.1 max nickel nail sulfur 0.02 max in japan 0.95 to silicon 0.15 to 0.35 manganese 0.5 max phosphorus 0.025 max chromium 1.3 to 1.6 molybdenum 0.8 max 0.08 max nickel 0.25 max sulfur 0.025 max in china 0.95 to 1.05 carbon silicon 0.15 to 0.35 manganese 0.25 to 0.45 phosphorus 0.027 max chromium 1.4 to 1.65 molybdenum 0.1 max nickel 0.23 max sulfur 0.02 max All the remaining materials will be discussed in part 2. Please if you like this video subscribe us hit the notification icon and please take care of yourself and remember me in your prayers. I will be here with new video next time. Till then Allah Hafiz.